Hi everyone, my name is Frank Westfall and in this video I will quickly show you how to back up your user data, also known as files and folders, and your software license keys to a USB external backup drive. This includes your Windows operating system activation key as well as third-party software license keys. For this video, you will need a USB 2.0 or USB 3.0 external backup drive, such as this Seagate Backup Plus 2 terabyte drive that I'm using. Any drive will do, this is just the one I'm using, but you wanna make sure that it's large enough to store all the data that you're gonna back up. You can also use a USB thumb drive as long as it has enough storage available on it to back up all your files and folders. All right, here we go. Okay, so we're going to back up our user data. So we will need to plug in the external USB drive, the large one. So we go to File Explorer, this PC, local disk, users. And in this case, my user is example user. I created this user and put some test data in the common locations. This is what's called a Windows user profile. We're gonna back up all of the user data in this user's Windows user profile. So we click it. And this is all the user data that is in the most common locations people store it within their user profile. We're going to select all of that and then open up another file explorer window. This time we're going to navigate to this PC to the backup plus drive. We are going to copy all of the data here and paste it onto the external backup drive. And if you have a lot of user data in your user profile, it is very common for this to take quite a while. Sometimes there are hundreds of gigs or terabytes of data that you'd want to be backing up to the external drive. And in that case, it could take a very long time. In this case, there's a very small amount of data in the user profile, so it's not going to take that long. Okay, and now just to demonstrate, this is the C drive on the left, and I created some example data. Now we go over to the desktop on the Seagate external backup drive, and we see the exact same data. I also put some of that data in documents, go to documents, same thing. We want an exact copy of all the data in the user profile. Downloads, same thing. I put some test music in the music folder, some songs, songs, a couple pictures. couple videos. That's an exact copy of the Windows user profile data. It's possible that you can have data in other locations. So if you do, just be aware that you need to copy it off to the external hard drive. Now we want to get a copy of the software license keys on the computer. And we can do that using the Belark advisor tool. So we can close these out open a web browser go to the Blark website and we are going to use the Blark advisor tool here we just enter our email address Now we can download the advisor tool and start installing that.
We do not need to check for security definitions. We are interested only in the software licensing on this computer. We can also skip the network analysis. Now it has generated a report and there's a, a section that shows the software licenses. This is what we want. The main thing we're interested in here is the Windows license key so that we can use this, this same key here to activate Windows 11. If you have other software installed such as Adobe Acrobat or Microsoft Office or other third party software, it will very often find the license keys for those pieces of software as well. So this is a handy tool for pulling your license information off your computer. We're going to copy this key. Go to the external backup drive, create a new text document, name it whatever you want. I've I named it Windows License Key, paste the key in there, save it. Now we've backed up all the user data and the software license keys. So thank you for watching. I hope this was helpful. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more computer systems tutorial videos, as well as other interesting how-to videos, original music videos, and personal health videos. Bye.